Two old naval ships in Manila Bay have served as prison for 800 rebel troops since the coup attempt. 37 officers and 47 enlisted men were brought ashore as part of a program which will see some back into service. They're being placed in the custody of their former units and will undergo investigation and training before those least involved in the coup resume active duties. As they were taken away to their camps in trucks, fears were voiced in Manila that the coup leader, Colonel Gregorio Gringo Honasan, might be planning a new strike. He's still at large and is believed to have a force of at least a thousand heavily armed men. The Philippines' military remains at a high state of readiness, and army chiefs believe any new strike would face much less chance of success. But the hearts of the military remain divided over the rebels, and they pose a real threat. had come as a surprise to Mrs. Aquino, she didn't show it at the specially convened lunchtime cabinet meeting. The pressure has been growing for her to reorganize the government after last month's coup attempt. Most of the lobbying has come from the military, who feel the president has been too soft on communism. So the leaders of the armed forces will be glad that one of the resignations was that of Mrs. Aquino's executive secretary, Joker Arroyo, widely regarded as the second most important figure in the government. He's been accused of being too sympathetic to left-wing causes and has been a vocal critic of the military and the business community. The ministers have said that by resigning, they hope to give Mrs. Aquino a free hand to rebuild her administration. It's the second time since coming to office that she's seen her entire cabinet resign. On the first occasion in November last year, most of the ministers were soon reappointed. They must wonder what the future holds for them this time. It was a spectacle that President Cory Aquino could have done without. Two days after her cabinet resigned and just two weeks after the attempted coup, up to 5,000 people singing happy birthday to depose President Marcos. The former president, thrown out by Mrs. Aquino's people's power 18 months ago, was celebrating his 70th birthday. He's in exile in Hawaii, but in the present uncertain climate, his influence is strong. Babies were even named after him and his wife Imelda. All this at a time when Aquino's administration faces its worst political crisis. Mrs. Aquino must now try to form a new cabinet, while rebel troops are still at large and pose a real threat of new attacks. Then more news that might have come to former President Marcos as a birthday present. Government spokesman Teodoro Benigno announced that the governor of the central bank and eight other officials had resigned. Yet another problem for Mrs. Aquino. <laughs> 